Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David, and I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Okay, got all the movies right there. Okay, and uh, I got a bunch of action figures, toys. I even got a statue of Godzilla, and I'm really looking forward to the new movie. Okay, so I figured why not just do a toy review, <laughs> like the first toy review in almost a year. Okay, this is when I first created this channel. It wasn't supposed to be about video games. It was supposed to be like about toys and action figures. Okay, and I just uh, I just lost my touch okay so whatever let's go ahead and go back to my roots and do an action figure review so this is what we're going to talk about hammer tail a godzilla uh hatchling action figure okay um it comes with a push button exploding egg genuine godzilla toy and i got for 4.99 at um uh, vintage stock which is a old dvd store that i go to okay um, they sell movies and games and stuff like that, but they also sell toys. Um, the back of the package is not much there. You see Godzilla's foot. And just descriptions of other toys in the line. N no pictures, which is kind of lame. Um, but if you don't know, this is from the 1998 movie starring Matthew Broderick. A lot of people aren't fans of this. Um, a lot of good special features in this DVD, though. But yeah, um, not a lot of people are fans of that movie, but uh, as a Godzilla fan, I like all versions of Godzilla, okay? Um, so we're going to open this up, and we're going to take a look inside and uh, review them, okay? So, stay tuned. So the first thing you may notice when you saw the packaging was that it was in horrible condition, okay? So no wonder it was $4.99. Uh, that being said, the toy itself is unharmed. So, look at that. Um, here is the baby... Godzilla, as you can see, it's in awesome detail. Okay, it's all red. Got the face and the teeth there. Nice detail. Um, let's see, the legs move, the arms move. Okay, looks like the jaw moves too. So, you can open his mouth. Uh, the tail doesn't move. Okay, so. Let's see how big it is. The figure is about nine millimeters, okay, or three and a half inches or so. And the egg is about seven inches, not 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 exactly seven inches, a little about a little lower than, than seven, okay. So anyway, the egg opens up like this. Okay, and you see the insides. So there's the insides. You see the little bar right there. Um, let's see what it does. Okay, there's the egg. Now, on the back here, there's, on his tail, there's a, a little peg. And I suppose you put in that little stick right there. So... Okay, so after multiple tries, I finally got Godzilla in there, and you have to twist the legs and stuff like that. Anyway, there's a little button right here, and when you press the button, Godzilla pops out. Oops. But as you can see, I have to reposition <laughs> his legs back there and stuff like that to make him actually fit inside the egg. But uh, there it is. Uh, if you're curious, I'll do a size comparison real quick. Here's a size comparison with one of Bandai's action figures, classic Godzilla right there. As you can see, he's a lot more smaller, about half the size. Um, should be like that, <laughs> that small, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching, people. Rate, favor, subscribe. Tell me what is your favorite Godzilla movie, and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.